Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to use save file dialog uh, save file dialog control in WPF. So first of all add a text box in which uh, you can uh, write some text and after that you can save this uh, into the text file. So open a new dialog box that is save dialog box. So it's a simple, you can do this by using a simple uh, think in the WPF just add a button control and the text box control so after that when we click on the button control so simple uh, save dialog box save file dialog DLG equals to new save file dialog dlg dot save uh, show dialog if uh, I mean to say when we click on OK button then file dot write all text dlg dot file name as well as the source is text box that is text one dot text So here uh, we have a save as type is not there. So you can use for this use a filter property. And open this file after save. You can check in, in notepad. DLG dot show dialog equals to true file dot write to all text DLG dot file name as well as TX one dot text. DLG dot filter equals to uh, you can add some filters like the text file as well as C sharp file. So you can use that is text file as well as csh sharp file. DLG dot initial directory also set uh, like the C uh, C drive. Also you can set the special folder. So you can check it. If you can set C drive, then if you run it run this file there is boot camp c drive and uh, if you want to add a special folder you can do this environment dot get folder path and environment dot special folder and the special folder is my document so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching my all other videos which is related to WPF I'm sure I will provide you a better video tutorial later thank you very much for watching